Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking braised pork belly with sweet preserved vegetables or Mei Tai Kou Rou. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start to marinate our pork belly. This is 300 grams of pork belly. I've cut them into small pieces like this. We'll add in one tablespoon of dark soy sauce as well as one tablespoon of Chinese rice wine. If you do not have Chinese rice wine, you do not have to use it, but Chinese rice wine will actually enhance the flavor of this dish. So we just mix them up a little bit. Basically, we want to add more coloring to the pork so that after cooking this, it will give out a very beautiful brown sheen. Okay, we'll leave this in the fridge for half an hour before we cook this. I'll see you back in a while. We are now going to fry our Mei Tai or sweet preserved vegetables. Heat up a pan or wok, add in a suitable amount of oil. We'll fry our aromatics first. Add in one piece of cinnamon bark, about two pieces of star anise, 10 grams of ginger sliced up. I'm using young ginger over here. I'm using medium heat now. Don't turn the heat up too high, we don't want to burn all this. We just want to extract the flavor out. Eight cloves of garlic. I've just taken out the skin. Add in also six pieces of shallots chopped up. All these aromatics are very important to make this dish really, really good. Try right until you can smell them. Wow, it smells really, really good. Once the fragrance is released, you'll add in the Mei Tai. I'm using the Kian Mei Tai or the sweet preserved vegetables. This is 150 grams. Now we'll fry them for a while until it's a little bit dry so that the flavor will be stronger. You need to soak the vegetables in water for at least two hours and really clean them up just to get rid of the sand and the grit that's inside the vegetables. Now when they are about something like this, about a little bit dry, you add in half a cup of Chinese rice wine. This will really enhance the flavor of this dish. I know we have another video on Mei Tai Kou Rou also like this, but I'm doing this everything in a pot, so it's a simpler way to do it. Right, when you see steam coming up, we'll add in our pork. Fry them for about five minutes or so. I'm still maintaining the heat at medium. This is one of my wife's favorite dish. She loves this with rice or with porridge. It's really good. Now we'll add in 600 milliliter of water. Add in two tablespoons of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of light soya sauce. One tablespoon of dark soya sauce. We will need to balance up the taste, so we will need to add in one teaspoon of sugar. Mix them up well. Now we can turn the heat up to high to start to boil them. When it starts to boil, put on the lid, turn the heat down to medium or medium low, and we will simmer this for 40 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 40 minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, beautiful. Smells really, really good. Let's just give this a taste. Wow, very flavorful. I think this will go really, really, really well with rice. Okay, we're now picking this up a little bit. I'm using cornstarch solution over here. Beautiful. We will serve this now. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. We we'll need rice, a generous portion of this. This is going to be so good. I want the sauce on the rice. Let's just give this a taste now. Mm. The ultimate comfort food. This is really, really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. 
do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching mm.